It's a special time to be in Clay County District Schools, and we know that uh, what a great community that, that we have, but becoming an A school district really truly allows us to become a premier uh, district within the state of Florida. I think that the Clay County School District now is in better shape than it's been for several years. We have once more have, uh, gotten back into the top 10. We're now number eight in the state, and we uh, look to go even higher and uh, we are progressing each year and I'm sure that's going to continue. We have a quality education here and public education in Clay County is, is quality all the way around. Yeah, right now, ever since we, we returned back to an A school district, we've had a significant amount of individuals and aspire to come to Clay County. And I will tell us, we will do everything we can to protect our, our schools from our neighborhood with our neighborhood students. But we, we see that surrounding counties are calling us every single day trying to find a seat because they understand that the quality experience that we provide for every one of our learners. We see that in the next, uh, I would say, five to, to 12 years, we're gonna have an increase of 4,800 students coming to Clay County. The First Coast Beltway is gonna allow us to have new opportunities for families, new builds, new communities. So we have to be ready and available for our newcomers, and we will continue to work hard to make sure that they are a, uh, in a school district, not only for now, but for years to come. Northeast Florida in general is a growing region, and Clay County in particular, especially with the construction of the First Coast Expressway as it continues to be built through the region, going to continue to attract buyers and more people to the region and so growth is critical for our industry and having an A-rated school system allows you to attract uh, those families to move into your county. And with our tax base and quality of life all of that's very important to make sure that uh, you know uh, folks not only have jobs but uh, there's less government interference and and uh, into their lives and low taxes at the end of the day it starts and ends you know with you know, clearly the school district and, and education, uh, whether it's higher ed or K through 12, in terms of, you know, the opportunities we afford our youth and allow them to proceed and, and obviously move into professional careers as, as well as hopefully college and, and other uh, training opportunities. But I think the more that we can uh, rely on the community to, to support uh, the school system's efforts, and it seems like the superintendent uh, continues to do that and embrace that, which I think is uh, refreshing. There really is a special relationship uh, between our school system and the businesses and families of Clay County. And it's important for there to be open lines of communication, that there really be a sense of partnership and community uh, between all aspects of our community. We have so many hardworking professionals in the Clay County school system, that they're up to the challenge. And uh, one of the uh, measures of, of how they're school district is performing is these ratings that we have every year and we're all proud that the school district has an A rating and what that does is it tells the world that Clay County is uh, is a good place to uh, raise a family and uh, if you want to uh, start a business or hire people or work here that this is a good place that you can be comfortable uh, setting up shop. And community partnerships are a must you know, we talk about, uh, I'll give you an example, we talk about safety. You know, safety, we can't do it in isolation from a school district. Safety is linked to the home. Safety is linked to, to how we interact with the community. Safety is linked to, um, to you know, whether we, how, do we feel safe when we drive in our, on our roads? Do we feel safe when we go to the movies? Do we feel safe when we go to our restaurants? It's all about us wrapping our arms to, together in order to address, uh, you know, difficult topics, and I only use safety as one of the facets, but community's uh, partnership is, is instrumental in having volunteers, into having uh, you know partnerships for our students to have internships and externships, for us to have uh, you know, opportunities for us to round our students with, uh, within business and organizations so they can see the pathways and opportunities that they have. I think this past year has been really important, uh, especially with the uh, introduction of the school resource officers in the town of Orange Park. Uh, we were able to put resource officers in both elementary schools and our junior high and the the ability for those officers to be able to touch the lives of those kids on a one on one basis I think is going to change things dramatically going forward. Um, when the opportunity presented itself for us to have our officers as school resource officers in those schools uh, we jumped we jumped on it we knew it was something we wanted to be a part of and we were excited to have our officers in those schools. Um, since our officers have been in the schools, we've seen a, a great uh, increased relationship with the school district and the, the children and the parents in our district here in our city. 
Uh, our officers are there every day interacting with the students involved in the after school pro uh, programs and it, we've really seen a positive outcome from that. The partnerships with the school district are very uh, uh, valuable to us because uh, not only with the business community supporting the schools so that we can achieve greater things for our students, also the uh, community support from the parents and the uh, citizens in the community. Uh, by working as a team, we are able to achieve even better things for Clay County Schools. We never had a superintendent since I've been president. This is my sixth year that I've been president that was um, so interested in our teachers' point of view of things and so a partnership with us the entire time. Um, when he does something, he lets me know, we talk about it. But the parents are very involved in the school system and I think also that, you know, the teachers are extremely involved in the SAC committees all over the place, you know. There's so much involved in teaching and so much that teachers do now that was never done 20, 30 years ago. Us being a, a school district is going to is going to produce a, a big change here in this county and in this city, and we're already starting to see that. A successful community really depends on having a successful school district. I am committed to supporting our schools and fostering positive relationships with our students, businesses, and families. I'm excited for the future of Clay County as we continue to strive for excellence and I am committed to supporting the efforts to achieve a world-class education. For those of y'all who are out there and have not had the opportunity or luxury to partner with Clay County District Schools, please know that our hand is extended to you. We need your partnership and not only from a financial standpoint, but we need your wisdom, your, your viewpoints, we need your decision. We have advisory communities, advisory boards that we have through our CTE departments that, uh, that you can be an active member of that to identify pathways and experience for our kids through internships and externships. For those of y'all who want to be a partner and then seek and please see me, see, you know, email me at uh, go to oneclay.net, find my email address, link, reach out to me so that we can really bring you in and make you become and help you become a part of this great adventure in Clay County District Schools.